Hello and just a few days ago we took our watchmobile direction Le Locke up in the mountains and despite being already quite well advanced in spring, well these were more like winter conditions up there. Just crazy but these things happen in these Jura mountains. Anyhow, we went to Zenith Watches to meet the recently announced new CEO Julien Tornard, who will now be heading the brand behind the famous El Primero movement, a brand which had been under the direct supervision of Jean-Claude Biver, but our main goal was actually to go and get some further info regarding the evolution of this legendary movement, something seen during the last Basel world with the new El Primero 21 D5. But stay tuned because we have some pretty crazy and exclusive info at the end of this report with a major breakthrough that Zenith will unveil in the next few months and we have a little sneak preview just for you. So, but first let's go back to this El Primero 21 D5 which is already quite something. Can you explain us uh, what does this new caliber represent for uh, Zenith watches? Um, so the first idea for the DeFi uh, El Primero 21 came, uh, I would say, uh, in Basel 2016. Uh, we had to uh, come up with an idea with the new face of the of the brand, and um, the idea was to, I would say, put all the strengths and um, innovation uh, spirit that we have here at the LVMH Watt division. So we work with the engineer of, of uh, Tagayer and also Hublot, and we try to brought on the market something. Um, completely innovative with a new case if possible and a new movement. We are quite well known for our own calibers and mechanics. So what it's the most, I would say, a logical way to uh, come up with is with a new escapement uh, based on the El Primero because this is our main force uh, in the DNA of the brand. We are mastering the tens of a second since 1969. So why can we not just come in with something new and the next step logical, which is the hundredth of a second mechanical. We took, I would say, the best of the El Primero Primero, so it's, this is the high frequency, and uh, we took the best of uh, another concept which was already developed by Tagayer, the hundredth of a second, but we completely reworked it and we came up with, the, with this uh, movement with two escapements, uh, two barrels completely separate, uh, two energy, two source of energy, so it's a dual architecture. Okay, and you have one escapement at uh, tenth of a second, five hertz, and another one at 50 hertz, which is only for the chronograph. So it gives you and it allows the watch to have the hundredth of a second display directly on the dial. We also have a lot of new features on this movement, which is uh, quite uh, a revolution with the hairspring, which are in nanotubes of carbon. So it's a new technology. It allows the watch to be completely anti-magnetic, resistant to temperature uh, gradients. It will be cost certified. It's one of the, I would say, most precise chronograph on the market now, which was already the case for the El Primero. So it's really, I mean, this is the continuous uh, story of the El Primero. But naturally, uh, this implies that the classic El Primero, if we can call it like mm -hmm. this, will continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's for sure. Uh, we cannot stop uh, producing the, the El Primero, which is, I mean, uh, more or less sometimes maybe more well known than the brands, you know, it's, it's something that we, we base all our uh, success and all our, I would say, uh, notoriety and awareness on the El Primero, so the El Primero, the regular one, will remain. <laughs> So Zenith seems to be on a rather new path and this of course makes me happy because it's a brand that seriously deserves to be uh, way back up there when you consider its history and in particular its legitimacy when it comes to innovation in the world of watch movements. During our visit there we learned directly from Mr. Beaver that they are already working on the double tourbillon version of this uh, El Primero 21 for the next year so they keep pushing the boundaries of what is possible with their new uh, carbon nanotube technology and you have to imagine that this chronograph beating at 50 Hz means 360,000 beats per hour or oscillations per hour and I can promise you that you can actually hear this mechanism quite distinctively as it performed this rather surrealistic task. But this leads me to the fact that we had a glimpse on something totally revolutionary that we saw on Mr. Beaver's wrist. Something completely disruptive, radical new movement architecture and approach that will be unveiled pretty soon by the brand. It's a real scientific breakthrough and comes directly from the world of mathematics, so can't wait to discover some more about this rather strange and intriguing, shaking type of escapement, and you can naturally count on us to have all the details when this comes out. So all the best and see you very soon.